all right, let's roll around the room one time and let's talk about what, what our thoughts are on whether we're seeing truth or deception with each one of these guys. Okay, Greg, you want to go first? Yeah, so let's talk about two things. Number one, truth or deception about the abuse. I think it's truth. I mean, all the emotion you saw, hard to fake cry. Could he pull it up? Sure. They were factual. There were very few indicators and few clusters of deception from any of us. So yes, I do believe the abuse happened. On the second question, do I believe there was another motive for example, were they fearful for their life that that day? I don't think that's true. I think we see deception when they start probing that. And we didn't see as many videos, but clearly we start to see blink rate increases. We see clusters of deception. We see changes in comfort. We see changes in posturing. We see barriers putting something between me and you. We see adapting, making myself comfortable. So I think on, on count one, I think they're telling the truth. On the second one, I don't believe them. Chase, what do you got? I'm with you. I think the physical and sexual abuse allegations, they are being truthful. And the motive question, I do not think that that was the motive. I think they had a lifetime of abuse and they were finished with it. And I think maybe they were fearful. I'm not saying they were not fearful, but I'm saying the, the, the weight of the motive is mostly in premeditation. Mark? Uh, yeah. So as to the abuse and the emotions around that, yes, absolutely true and real. I've watched some other video uh, as well that we didn't look at of those emotional states and they are they produce a high level of empathy. And therefore, that's really hard to do. You can do it. You have to be a really good actor. I saw it the other day on with Anthony Hopkins in his new film. Uh, genius, genius acting. If this guy was acting in this, he's as good as Hopkins. Okay, so, so I'm not saying he can't be as good as Hopkins, but it's unlikely. So uh, Occam's Razor says that's, that's true feelings going on there. Um, was there another motive involved? I haven't seen enough detail of them talking about other stuff, so I can't really judge on on that one so I, I don't know where to fall on on that one maybe maybe not haven't seen them talking enough about about being in fear of their lives and any of the detail around that of the videos maybe we I need watched. to do another one later sure. yeah another sure sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, scott what's your take all right and i'm i'm with you guys 100 percent. i i think they're they're truthful about what happened to them about the abuse and i think they're hiding the the parts and and not being honest about the part about what the what the motive is i think they were mad and they were getting back at him for what happened to him when they were when they were younger when they were kids being treated that way i think that's what happened from as, as a just as a flinch you know they said okay i've had enough of this let's go do that and they did it so because do you go out and buy guns that just takes a little bit to go do that you just can't go pop out and get some and come back to the house and you know you, that's thought out so they thought about that a little bit and I think it was, I, I personally think it was revenge. I don't, I don't think it was, uh, and they were probably in fear for their lives, but I think it was from the revenge point of view. If you like this video, get the full body language breakdown and analysis by clicking this video right here.